Welcome back, beautiful tri-state area. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Zen Sams. Up next in our Going Deep segment, we're featuring Dr. Wendy Roberts. She's a prominent board-certified dermatologist and dermatopathologist. Dr. Roberts specializes in cosmetic dermatology, generational dermatology, and ethnic skin of color. She's well-equipped by the rigors of her Stanford Medical School training, surgical and dermatology residences, and pathology fellowship. She is the founding director of Dermatopathology of Loma Linda Division of Dermatology. She's tackled and triumphed over a comprehensive range of skin problems, diseases, and conditions using innovative methods that have earned her national and international recognition. Generational dermatology is a practice she's very passionate about, which imparts education and science to help treat patients from the generational boom worldwide. As chairperson of the first summit on generational dermatology, she's introducing new approaches to treating the evolving aging patient. Now, you're probably not used to thinking of skin as an organ, but it's actually the largest organ of the body. It has a myriad of functions and is a big contributor to overall health. Skin of color requires some special attention to keep it healthy and attractive. It's prone to some conditions which are not typical of white skin, such as hyperpigmentation or the risk that skin cancers tend to be more advanced at the time of diagnosis. So what are the best ways to take care of darker skin? Many people of color struggle to find good products for their skin, or they get bad advice from people who aren't as experienced in treating skin of color. Luckily, today I'm joined by the amazing Dr. Wendy Roberts. She's here today to chat anti-aging, beauty innovations, and the latest in dermatological skincare. Welcoming now to the show is the awesome Dr. Wendy Roberts. Welcome, Stunner. Hello. Thank you. What an introduction. All those Ds. All those Ds, Talk yeah. and done well. I, I, I'm in the presence of a trailblazer. I'm so excited to chat with you. Christmas is in just a few days, and, and what a treat it is to have you here today. So Dr. Roberts is one of the first dermatologists to recognize the potential of carboxy therapy. Can you share what specific aspects of this therapy impressed you the most? Yes, you know, when I first used this carboxy therapy, and actually, yeah, I was the first dermatologist in the nation to use it. Um, I immediately, because of my years of experience, I knew that there was something different. This product was a game changer. It had attributes of things that I had never seen before. You know, we call our toolbox, right, in dermatology. We've got this, we've got steroids, we've got all kinds of things in our toolbox, but this was different. And um, it was different because of the science. And it really used these scientific principles that have been yet to use. We call it the Bohr principle. And it, it, it really brings you know, oxygen to the tissues, brings life to the tissue. And you know, oxygen brings life. And oxygen also you know, quenches toxins. It brings um, blood supply. And blood supply is so amazing because blood supply gives life to our skin, right? We know when our skin doesn't have any color in it, we look dead, we look dead, right? So blood supply brings life, but blood supply also takes away toxins. And there was never any product on the market that had this kind of attribute. And I knew the first time I used it and saw the results on my patient, it was a game changer and started using it for a host of different um, disorders. You know, it's, 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 it, you can use it for so many things. It's quite proprietary. You're a thousand percent right. And when CO2 is used alone or in conjunction with other procedures, CO2 lift increased skin hydration by more than 117% compared to baseline with these improving with these specific improvements lasting up to three weeks. So the physiological effects, you know, also in include increases in tissue oxygenation, which you just mentioned, flow rate and vasodilation. And, and this all contributes to an incredible uh, neoangiogenesis. So we're looking at the science, it backs it up and you are hundred percent right to use it because you, now you set precedence. So the founder of CO2 lift has praised your ability to think outside the box, Dr. Roberts. Can you give an example of how this mindset has influenced your approach to dermatology and skincare innovations? Yeah, you know, I, I've always been passionate about aging and, and I never quite could understand, you know, why we had to age. And back in about 2007, <laughs> I was like, you know, what is going on with my patients? Why are they aging? And why we have to do this? 
So, um, you know, thinking about it, and you talked about it earlier about the skin being an organ, thinking about like an organ, and with my background in pathology, I said, you know, let's treat the skin like any other organ. Let's get proactive. You know, let's get heart smart. Let's get skin smart. Why are we waiting for brown spots to occur when we know that if you live like I do in sunny Southern California, you're going to have brown spots on your skin. Let's get ahead of it. So that thinking out of the box started this whole movement in my specialty of generational dermatology, which now is every day, right? We all know yeah. to be proactive, uh, baby Botox, um, you know, all the things we do, the, the CO2 lift, making sure that our skin is hydrated, making sure that our barrier is great so we don't age because we really are a sum of our environment. And the earlier we start, the better the skin's going to be because skin aging doesn't happen overnight. And we it have catches time. up. It catches up. Yeah, One day yeah. you wake up and you're like, I have all these wrinkles. Yeah. You know, glowing skin. Yeah. I always live by three mottos. Glowing skin is always in. Filters are great, but great skin is better and exfoliate the bad vibes. Yes. <laughs> so now we have all heard of the of the Clarisonic brush. So let's go back uh, for those of for those of you listening and, and watching. Uh, that are too young to know of the Clarisonic brush, but the Clarisonic is one of the brands that pioneered people taking care of their skin, not just when they had a problem, but proactively. And being involved in the in the development of the Clarisonic brush, Dr. Wendy Roberts, you were one of the first involved. What parallels do you see between the impact of that tool and CO2 lift treatment on the skin? I mean, with the rise of at-home skincare devices, what advice mm -hmm. do you give to patients looking to incorporate these into their routines? Yes, well, you know, the Clarisonic brush was first in class. There'd been no rotary brushes that ever. And the idea, the concept, it came from the toothbrush, right? And the concept that you would take the science of a rotary toothbrush and apply it to the skin was, was new and had never been done. And that the, the power behind the Clarisonic brush is because of the pores on our skin flexing. And the pores on our skin flexing actually exercises the pores. And like a muscle, when you exercise something, it doesn't get flabby. And pores on our face, pores on our nose are it's basically flabby, flabby skin, flabby pores. So you exercise the pores, the pores are toned, the muscle and you can keep small pores. So now we go to the to the CO2 lift and it has that same type of like hard science basis, working not on the surface of the skin, but underneath. And that's what's really happening now. We are working in the lower layers, layers of the skin to get these results that we see, you know, glowing skin, smooth skin, you know, airbrush looking skin. It doesn't start from outside in, it starts from inside out. I love that. It starts from inside out. You're hundred percent right. Now, given your extensive experience, what trends do you currently see in dermatological treatments that excite you about the future of skin health? Yeah, you know, uh, the, the mask again, amazing treatment and we're going to see it for more and more things. You know, we're using it for hydration. We're using it for eczema, for all kinds of things, for wound healing. Wound healing is really important because if you can't heal your wounds, scratches and cuts, then you're going to have problems. So we're working a lot on, on, on getting um, the fibroblasts and the key cells that make tissue, getting them revved up and, and returning them to normal. So you're going to see a lot of non-invasive, you know, it's really all non-invasive now. Nobody wants downtime. And how no downtime. Yeah, no, no, because we're busy. We're too, we're too busy doing everything. We don't have time for it. Um, and when we're not busy, we don't necessarily want to be, you know, taking care of our faces. So um, the new trends are um, cold therapy is going to be something that's increasing where everything, where it used to be everything was laser, laser hot. Now you're going to see things cold, cold, cold. And that's a new trend. Stem cell, stem cell therapy, PRP, and exosomes, and all of those things, again, you know, that work under the skin and create young skin from within, 
those are the new trends that are coming. And let's not forget about hair, right? Hair is huge. Hair is like, oh, hair is the new lip, you know. Uh, nobody wants to lose their hair. But again, you know, for the viewers, you can't start, you know, in your fifth decade to think about your hair, your hair growth, really, you've got to start keeping an eye on it in your third decade, because from that generational standpoint, in that lens that I see everything through, you need to check in with the dermatologist in your 30s and just get a just get a take on where you know your hair has ahead of the game yeah because where you're going right because you don't want to wake up one day and have all these wrinkles and be bald no, no. so we definitely so we definitely want to be ahead of that one now are there any specific skin conditions or concerns that you find carbon dioxide therapy for the skin to be particularly effective for car what we call carboxy therapy gel yeah yes there are so it's i love it in the second decade for you know our 20s it's great because it really helps that barrier and get you set up in a good way for future skin care so i highly recommend it in that very young group the mask is great keeps you hydrated it's great after you have a beach vacation you know you've done your skin in, and even skiing too you know the sun is harsh and it's great for after skiing so it's great for that um, I love it. Any type of dry skin for my patients that suffer with eczema and dry skin condition. Now, I don't know if you know this, but dry skin is the root of most of our tough skin disorders. And if you can get the skin conditioned and hydrated with the carboxy therapy mask, that right there is a game changer. I've used this mask on eczema patients and I haven't used any other prescription medications and they've been cleared. Wow. So, yeah. Especially, That's impressive. You know, it, it really is. And well, that goes back to what you said. It, 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 it increases the presence of wound repair factors and yeah. growth factors, which help cells turn over faster, reducing yes. the appearance of aging and scars, stretch marks and yes. more. And then you add stimulating collagen and elastin production, which promotes elasticity and helps retain mm -hmm. hydration. And then you go one step further and you go you, you go even further in that absorption, improving local metabolism and elimination of waste products, which yes. then helps the body heal localized damage such as uh, scars or acne or hyperpigmentation yeah. so you know the regenerating and repairing factors you know of the of the damaged tissue to help clients achieve better looking skin yeah. and, and and feel good about themselves is everything in this mask i could not agree with you more now we have about a minute and a half and i want to talk about what is the most common misconception about skin care that you frequently address with your patients yeah well the most common misconception is that um it will just, skin will just take care of itself. That, um, you know, I can use this, I can use that and under no direction and, and get an outcome. It's a lot of, uh, you know, do it yourself and skincare. And I think that's a misconception because yes, um, there are a lot of things out there. I liken it to like a symphony, right? There's a lot of instruments, but every symphony has a conductor because the conductor knows the particular nuances of each instrument and how together you're going to make for a beautiful piece of music. So I say that with skincare. Yes, you can do it yourself, but also it, your, your results are even amplified when you go in, when you see a dermatologist, who, you know, who has a passion about skincare and can put it all together, give you tips, get you there quicker, easier on the pocketbook, not trying lots of this and that. And I, 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 people say, well, you know, I'll just try it myself. I'm like, no, you know, we can get there so much faster together. And, um, you know, so I would say that's probably that the misconception that, uh, and I, you know, love to address and I put out there is that, we have a lot of tools and a lot of education to um, and experience, you know, knowledge of anatomy is so important. There's so much in dermatology that, um, you know, I love to share with my patients and, and, and that I would say. And I would also, one thing I wanna say coming back to the mask, you said something really neat. I would say in a sentence, it's like an IV for the skin. Oh, you know, I love I, that too. Uh, you're full yeah, of it. You're, right? gotta, you're like the CO2lift.com queen, a uh, queen quoter. <laughs> it's like an IV. It just saves your skin, period. 
Yeah. Well, we are out of time. This was a fantastic conversation. Thank you so much for coming on. You're full of knowledge and I love that you go deep. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Absolutely. That was our Going Deep segment brought to you by CO2Lift.com. That was the amazing Dr. Wendy Roberts. She's a preeminent board certified physician, dermatologist, and board certified dermatopathologist. Now, Dr. Wendy Roberts, she specializes in everything cosmetic dermatology, generational dermatology, and ethnic skin of color. You can head directly to her website at WendyRobertsMD.com, or you can check her out on the gram at Dr. Wendy Roberts Youth Booster. You're listening to a moment of zen right here on 710 wor the voice of new york iheart radio we'll be right back after this a moment of zen is brought to you by co2 lift as we age our skin loses moisture and elasticity causing wrinkled skin you can reverse this aging process with co2 lift co2 lift utilizes the powerful benefits of carbon dioxide to lift tighten and regenerate your skin this simple painless at home carboxy therapy treatment is scientifically proven to reverse the aging process you will see reduction in wrinkles increase in luminosity and and improve pigmentation, sagging, skin tone, and radiance. For more information or to order CO2 Lift, go to CO2Lift.com.